Let's paint a ladybug on a leaf. Before painting the background, mask off the leaf area with clear cover. Paint the background using two shades of dark green. I've added raw umber and French ultramarine into sap green to get my greens. Lay the two colors down randomly and then just roughly blend them into each other. I keep the background dark to push it back into the distance. We can now remove the mask and start painting the leaf. The leaf is V-shaped with a kink in the center, so as a result, each half will have a different tonal value. Mix a base color for the top half of the leaf using sap green, alizarin crimson and white. And then block in the top half of the leaf. To suggest the texture in the leaf, stab in a lighter and a darker green along the length of the leaf. Make these lines random distances from each other and random lengths to make it look natural. Now do exactly the same thing on the bottom half of the leaf, except this time your base color must be lighter to show that the sun is shining more on that half of the leaf. You can use the same colors for the stripes though. So while we've got green on the brush, use the dark green to paint the shadow cast by the ladybug. Don't forget to soften the edges of that shadow the further away you move from the ladybug to make it look natural. Now let's paint the ladybug. Give the wings just a basic shading using cadmium red and cadmium orange. And for the lightest area at the top, you can add some cadmium yellow as well. Block in the dots on the wings using lamp black. I've also indicated the lines on the wings by running a contrasting color along the length of the wing. So you'll see there's one, two, three of those lines. What's important with these lines though is that you follow the contour of the wing. For the face, we can block that in also with the lamp black. What I want you to notice is that super thin little line that I've left between the face and the nose so that I don't lose where that line is. Because at this stage, we're not going to worry about the shadings. That will come later. For now, let's paint the water drops. Painting the water drops is a multi-step process. And because you've got so many different water drops to paint, what I suggest you do is you do one step to each of the water drops and then move on to the next step and do that to each of the water drops and so on and that way you form like a bit of a production line and you can paint these drops way quicker. So that process works like this. Pick up a little bit of turpentine on your brush and just lift out that rounded shape where you want the water drop to be. Then take a piece of paper towel and just soak up that turpentine. So all we're trying to do there is create a lighter area underneath the water drop. Then add a highlight to the bottom of the drop using white, which you then fade upwards into the water drop. Next, add a reflection of the leaf using the dark leaf color to the top of the water drop, and you also shade that into the water drop. And those two shadings will make the water drop look round. Then take some white and add a reflection into the darker area to show the sunlight reflecting in the water drop and that makes it look wet. And lastly use the dark leaf color to add a cast shadow for each drop. So put that in against the water drop and fade it out away from the water drop. Same as what you did with the ladybug shadow. When you're doing these water drops make each one a different shape. And also make sure that you don't have equal spacing in between each drop. Put a few together and then a few separate and then a few together and so on to make it look random. Okay, now leave the painting to dry. Then once it's dry, we can add in all the reflections onto the ladybug to make it look shiny. So for that, mix up a sky color using titanium white and a touch of cerulean blue. And then just carefully look at the places on the ladybug where you see the reflections. So just pick up a little bit of paint, put it down in the brightest area, and then fade it away as you see it fades away on the ladybug. So you're going to put all those shadings in on the head, on the nose, and on the wings. Don't overthink these reflections. As you see them, you put them in. 
So to complete this painting, add the little feelers on the sides of the face using a light brown. So if you enjoyed this class, please don't forget to like it, leave me a comment below, and of course, subscribe for more tutorials.